Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Brantling Navitimer Montpriant reference A41330. You can see and you can purchase this traditionally sized chronometer chronograph with calculator bezel on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete price details for this Breitling Navitimer Montbriant. Now this is a watch with a size and a character and a wrist presence that should endear it to those who have had some trouble warming up to modern Breitling. You may love the history of the company, but the size, the character, the Bentley associations, they're not for everyone. This is a watch that serves as a sort of back catalog olive branch to that crowd. 38 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of crown or pushers. This reference ran for about a decade from the late 90s into the late 2000s, and it represents a little bit of a throwback historically. There's that 38 millimeter diameter, but the watch is also wonderfully chunky without being excessive. It has a squat appearance in a traditional fashion, but it's still under 13 millimeters thick. That's the wonder of traditional sizing. A squat looking case doesn't have to be 18 millimeters thick in profile. And from lug to lug, the watch is quite compact. If you were to put it on a strap and wear it vintage style, it would be 43.6 millimeters from lug to lug. With the seven link Navitimer style bracelet, it's just a little bit broader. The end links of the bracelet extending the watches span across the wrist of 45.9. Now, of course, if you're wondering what is the difference between a Pilot and a Navitimer bracelet, the main difference is the number and size of the links, the Navitimer having seven, the Pilot having five. And the bracelet is part and parcel to this watch's appeal. It's beautifully matched, both in terms of the fit as well as the feel, but it also has the proportions to look appropriate to a 38 millimeter watch, simply strapping a different variant onto the watch. Might have been a little bit, let me pop open the clasp here because I don't have the nails I used to, but a larger bracelet would have spoiled the watch, visually outmuscling it and outweighing it. That doesn't happen here. It's beautifully matched and even entirely in high polish, it doesn't have the gaudy extroverted character of contemporary Breitling watches. Again, that's the miracle of discrete proportions. The watch is beautifully rendered with simple classical lines. You can see there's a little bit of a hairline bevel to the flank of the lug. Strong case band. You can see a wonderfully knurled bezel. It is the calculator circular slide rule style and this one is wonderfully crisp. You'll also note there's a little bit of a bubble character to the domed mineral glass and if you wonder why there's a little bit of green coloration off axis, it's because this is a mineral glass crystal, not sapphire. It has its own separate character in terms of refraction, coloration, and in the case of this box cut and domed mineral, it's a little bit more upscale than your conventional mineral crystal being shaped and contoured. Now the dial is classic classical, but also more upscale than you might expect for a late 90s debut from Breitling when they were still solidly in the lower to mid section of market pricing. The dial features all applied hour indices and polished with a wonderful 12 in spectacular floral briquet Arabic font at 12 o'clock on the dial. The hands, which are sort of broadsword trapeze hybrid are luminescent, so although the watch does not have a fully luminescent dial, you can discern the time at night. Now it features a vertical clutch modular chronograph based on an ETA 2892 and a Dubois de Praz chronograph module. The vertical clutch allows you to simply keep the chronograph running with no hazard to the movement, not something you can do, for instance, in the Breitling references powered by Valjoux 7750 variants. It also features hacking seconds when you pull the crown, stop the balance, set the time precisely, and a quick set for the date. Automatic winding, it endows the watch, which is 30 meters water resistant, with a 42 hour power reserve, and this is of the generation of this reference that is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. The earliest examples were not, but this one is. Brilliant in proportion, gorgeous in its dial detailing and coloration. You can see this classically inspired Breitling Navitimer Montbriant 38 millimeters in steel and buy it on our website.